Hi everyone, we are going to continue our project <clears throat> pushing it forward with mounting this Perry David deer. So as you know, I'm applying my uh, height paste right now on uh, the neck area only not nothing on the face and nothing on the back or uh, the shoulders of the animal i just want enough height paste on the neck so i can slide that uh, tube skin over the head and over the neck before i uh, install the antlers on it so i'm not going to be talking too much on this segment because it's quite self-explanatory and you can see what i'm doing i'll chime in whenever i think there is uh, something for some some guys you know uh, they need to know otherwise i'll just let you watch and listen to the music This plastic wrap around the face makes it slippery and uh, it helps me to slide the tube skin over the face quite easily without applying any glue on it. Okay, the skin is all over the neck right now and it's time to screw down the uh, basically the skull plate which is holding up the antlers and then after that we're going to apply our mache around uh, the skull plate to to complete the formation of the skull or the back of the head so we can pull the skin over and start sewing I'm using some shims underneath the skull plate where it's going to attach uh, to keep the antler um, in the proper position upright. You know, sometimes the, the cut that they've made on the uh, skull plate is not exactly the way it needs to be. So that's what we have to adjust with some shims if it's too short or just cut out if it's too long. And as long as we get we get the antlers installed in the proper shape and the proper place, we're all good.
the uh, the pupils on on these big game heads are uh, are uh, basically some horizontal. So all you have to do, make sure that when you install it, you keep it horizontal and level to the ground. Don't don't get fooled by the shape of the form or the position of the head. It it just works like a level. Whatever they do, yeah, the, their um, their pupil stays level to the ground. So with a little ball of clay inside the back of the glass eye, we push it into the eye socket, and on both sides we do uh, shine the flashlight on it because it's a pretty dark eye, so we want to see the pupil staying in proper shape and horizontal. And once we're satisfied with it, we're starting to clang all around the eyes and build up the eyelids. And as you've seen in my previous videos, I like to fill up that area that is between the glass eye and, and, uh, and the eye socket. There's a little bit of a gap in there that needs to be filled out with clay. So I like to use my tool, push a little bit of clay, make a good solid foundation for our eyelids. Of course it depends on the mannequin as well if there's a lot of it has already been built on the mannequin then your roll gets smaller and smaller sometimes you got to put a bigger roll depending on who's sculpted your mannequin and which mannequin you have purchased anyway guys thanks for watching this is coming to an end for this segment as well I'm on to editing and putting some voice over the next episode to make it ready for you guys within the next couple of days. Stay tuned, please subscribe and don't go anywhere. We'll have more videos for you guys. Thank you, bye bye.